the asymptomatic virus carriers <coughs> is now thought to be, uh, in some of the studies from China, about one third of the patients who have documented PCR positive SARS-CoV-2 do not develop any symptoms. And this, this is a very important group to look at because these are groups which either these silent shedders may be going around the community infecting other people and you don't know about it. And also, it, we need to look at those to actually then find out what the true extent of infection is in the community. We need to know this because it's important to find out just how serious this virus is. We do that from a clinical point of view by looking at the number of patients who get infected and those who develop mild, moderate and severe disease. That gives a good indication of the extent of infection within the community and also the percentage of, in, of patients who may uh, progress and might require intensive care. Now that certain areas, uh, certain regions of the world have got over the initial uh, stage of uh, the acute infections, now more attention is to actually find out from the general population just what, what percentage of this population has actually got these antibodies to the virus. The challenge for that is also that to trying to work out that even though they may have the antibodies, to find out at what level these antibodies may be cross-protective or not protective. And this is something which will, will probably come through more through the animal studies of, uh, of a challenge and rechallenge to find out at what level of what we call the, the serum antibodies will actually prevent someone from either, either becoming reinfected or, if they do become infected, coming down with a mild rather than a severe disease. <laughs>